Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing varicose triad. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know is, what's it used for? It helps us to identify the three main factors for blood clot development in our patients. And those factors are, number one, stasis. So the blood isn't moving. The patient might have poor circulation to that area. And remember, platelets, they're very, very sticky. And if they're not moving quick enough because the patient doesn't have good circulation, they're going to start sticking to each other. So you're more likely to get a blood clot. So stasis of blood and some common conditions that can cause stasis of blood. AFib, so atrial fibrillation. If the patient has prolonged immobility or paralysis, pregnancy, obesity, and any sort of venous insufficiencies can cause stasis of blood. The second factor is the patient is in a hypercoagulable state. And some reasons this could be, could be pregnancy, if they have an increased amount of estrogen in their body, they've had trauma to the lower extremity and the body's trying to you know, heal that trauma, cancer, they're septic, they are a smoker or have a history of smoking, or if they have some sort of clotting disorder. And then the third way is endothelial damage. So this could be caused by trauma, surgery, high blood pressure, or atherosclerosis, which if you remember is like the thickening and the hardening of the arteries. And the way you can remember these three is S-H-E, she. So stasis, hypercoagulability, and endothelial damage, S-H-E. And what veins are more likely to develop a blood clot? Usually the ones in the lower extremity. Can you get blood clots in the upper extremities? Yes, yes you can. But it's more likely to happen in your lower extremities, specifically in your popliteal, femoral, and iliac veins. So that was varicose triad. Not too complicated, I hope, but definitely important when you're taking care of any patient that has the potential of developing a blood clot. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.